Hey guys, Scott with Flip and Customize, and today we've got our 5.3 liter donor engine in the shop for the uh, 91 S10 build. And I just want to do a real quick, real quick tutorial on how to use a cylinder ball hone uh, right there on the ground. So what I'm talking about is what we're trying to do is deglaze the cylinders on this engine. And by deglazing the cylinders, we're just going to create a nice fresh crosshatch and get rid of that glossiness in the cylinder to allow the, seat, the uh, new rings to seat in. And we're not technically removing material like a stone hone at a machine shop would do. This is more of just a light, clean it up. We're gonna hit it uh, with a 240 grit. They make all different grits. This company here, Flex Hone, um, we choose to use the uh, ball hone because they're very forgiving, they're very easy to use. Um, let me show you what we've got going. This is the size we got, and this is the one they recommend for the 5.3, actually. And it's actually a 4 and an eighth inch diameter uh, ball home. And they call it a GB41824. That's a 240 grit, kind of an all-round grit. Um, again, not a, not a super machinist or anything like that. So I just want to disclose that. But this is the 5.3 block, 120 or 30,000 miles on it. And this is the cylinder... Kind of see how they're kind of shiny and dirty and eh, this whole engine was so crud. Um, and I just quickly did one right here and look at the difference. And that's about 35, 40 seconds worth of deglazing. That is completely fresh, ready to go with a nice new cross hatch. And the trick to this, using these ball hones, is we got an electric drill. You want to be between five and 800 RPMs um and about 60 to 120 strokes per minute in and out of that cylinder so it's fairly fast and our drill set on the low setting is actually um around 500 rpms our lubrication oil we're using a 1030 so we just wipe the cylinder out um like we did on this one i just did one of them real quick on my own here and then we run the ball hone in and out in and out uh like i said 60 to 120 beats Right before you take it out, you, you want to you can kind of go a little bit faster as you take it out to, to make sure you get that 45 degree cross hatch from the in and the out. Um, again, lots of oil. You don't want sliding that thing in and out of the cylinder unless it's spinning. Got to keep it moving and you got to keep the oil on it. It's not rocket scientist. It's not super difficult, but I'm going to go ahead and do this one here just so you can see the uh, difference and what I'm talking about and the results you get. As you can see what you got, it, it, it works really well. So we're going to be sending this block out to the machine shop um, tomorrow to get degreased um, uh, do, 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 the cranks going, the whole deal. And we're going to have new cam bearings put in it. So before we do that, we want to do our, I guess, machining or deglazing so they can clean all this out. And then we'll oil our, oil our cylinders will be ready to go. So let me get this one going for you. All right. First things first, we just kind of wipe the cylinder out. Any crud or debris, we don't want to be dragging that around through there. And this engine is heavily, heavily crudded up. And that's why it is going to the machine shop to get checked out, cleaned out. Um, but we want to do our honing first because we are putting a new set of rings in it. I've already lubricated the ball hone in the cylinder adjacent to it a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more oil on it. And I'm just drizzling it on there. And it's kind of going into the cylinder. So that cylinder is completely covered right now. I don't know if you can see that well, but I mean, I had so much oil on this previously, but uh, there's plenty of oil in there. So I just want to kind of show you real quick what I'm talking about for a speed and a rhythm. And again, it's moving as you're going in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on wow, which is around 500 RPMs. And I'm going in and out just like that. So that's 60 to 120 beats per minute. Again, all we're doing is deglazing the cylinder. It's giving us a nice surface for our new rings that are going to go on the uh, original pistons to go back into this engine. So we'll run this around 30, 40 seconds or so just to give it a good deglaze. And then um, I'll take it out, wipe it down, and kind of show you the result. And before we take it out, you go a little bit faster. That's it. So it's out. You kind of see all that crud and... and uh, I guess machining oil, if you will, coming out of it. 
excuse me, wipe this out, get my flashlight, and you can kind of see the results and how fast that is. You can do this whole engine in under five minutes. <coughs> excuse me. So they have it. That is the cross hatch, and that's a nice deglazed cylinder, literally ready to go. That came out nice, and it was that easy. These ball hones are super easy to use. They're around 50, 60 bucks, and you can go ahead and hone your own engine out and save yourself oh, 150 bucks at a machine shop. Again, they're doing it a little more extensively, um, but this is just deglazing and giving your rings a new surface to seat in on, assuming your cylinders are all good, you don't have any damage, and we don't. So we're just reestablishing that crosshatch, and what that crosshatch does is it gives the oil a place to soak into the cylinder and get on that um, get that on that piston, and allows the new rings to seat in properly to the cylinder. And you want that. You don't want to throw a new set of rings on a glazed up cylinder because they won't seat in properly, and you don't want to deal with that. So uh, again, nothing. Cr this is not a direct. One for one, this is the, the right, wrong way to do it, but it's how I do it. With that being said, it's as simple as that. You can get yourself a ball home, check these guys out. They have the flex home. Um, they have them for all engines, all sizes, uh, brake cylinders, everything, you name it. Um, it's super easy to use. They're super forgiving. People have different techniques. It's, it's all over the place. You can find uh, different how-to videos. Some are extremely long, but that's just a crash course. Hey, I want a real quick video. I want to know how, how I do this. So, you know, 60 to 120 beats per minute. For this size cylinder, everything's a little bit different. It's on their website. I'm going to go ahead and include some videos with some of their charts and the recommended sizes um, on this YouTube video here. So, 60 to 120 beats per minute. This is a 240 grit, which is like an average um, grit to go ahead and be honing with. Um, and you're done in under five minutes. Send this thing off. Get it cleaned up. Get the new cam bearings put in it. Get it back here so we can start the rebuild process. Again, follow us along. Please subscribe. Help us grow. This is Scott with Flip and Customize. Thanks, guys.